It seems that Americans are on a mission to find new adventures and opportunities, which has led to a surge of migration over the last year, with some states being inundated with hordes of new residents. In this video, we'll be uncovering the top 10 states that have welcomed the most newcomers and what makes them so irresistible. Number 10, Idaho. If you were to ask residents of Idaho why people are moving to their state, one of the answers you might hear is, it's cheaper than California. And they're onto something with that. According to Move Buddha, one in three moves to Idaho in 2022 came from California. The state with the second largest number moving into Idaho doesn't even come close to that, with 10.1% of new residents crossing over the border from Washington. According to the Zillow Home Value Index from August 2022, the influx of newcomers caused a 29% price jump on homes due to the increased demand for housing, and it's making the state unaffordable for some native Idahoans. However, for those coming from California or Washington, it's a lower cost of living. The Golden State has an average home price of $775,876, and Washington's is $616,259, compared to Idaho's $467,883. This helped add 34,719 residents during 2022, going from 1,904,314 to 1,939,033. Idaho isn't for everyone though. I previously did a video on why maybe you shouldn't move to the gym state. I'll leave a link in the description. Number nine, Utah. For an outdoorsy person, Utah might be their idea of paradise, whether their activity of choice is hiking, mountain biking, fishing, or skiing, just to name a few. Utah also appeals to people who work in tech but don't want to live in California or Washington and deal with all of the issues like traffic, crime, and pollution. According to United Van Lines, the number one reason people moved to the state was for job opportunities, since some prominent companies like Overstock, Microsoft, Meta, and Adobe all have offices within the Beehive State. A lower cost of living than many states also helped to draw residents. When the pandemic hit and people were able to work remotely, many left behind expensive cities and moved to places where their dollars went further, like Utah. The average home price in Utah is around $520,000, which sounds like a lot to someone like me who lives next to a cornfield, but for others, that's a steal. In 2022, Utah gained 41,687 new residents, going from 3,339,113 to 3,380,800. One thing to consider though, before moving there, is that approximately 62% of the population belongs to the LDS church. There are quite a few Mormon lawmakers and leaders within the state, so the church has a heavy hand in creating policies. It's just something to be aware of if your views don't align with theirs. Number eight, Washington. According to United Van Lines, Washington is gaining newcomers for two main reasons, jobs and to be closer to family. In years past, people were moving into the larger cities like Seattle and Tacoma, but in 2022, more people were choosing less densely populated small and medium-sized cities in rural areas. 35% of new residents said they were moving for work, but the study found something interesting. 32% of movers were over the age of 65. Of those, 15% said it was for retirement, and 33% said it was to be closer to their families. Other reasons cited for why people move to Washington are the lack of a state income tax, close proximity to the Pacific Ocean, and an abundance of outdoor activities. These things helped the state gain 45,041 new residents, going from 7,740,745 to 7,785,786. Number 7, Tennessee. Nashville draws in people from other areas who want to pursue their country music dreams, but other parts of Tennessee are also attracting new residents who come for a variety of reasons. The state gained 89,368 new people last year, jumping from 6,968,351 to 7,051,339. One reason people are moving there is affordability. The state doesn't impose an income tax for one thing, so you get to hang on to a few more of your dollars. They also have a lower cost of living. According to the Council for Community and Economic Research, Tennessee ranked as the sixth most affordable state in 2021. It went up a little bit in 2022, so they're now ranked 11th, but that's still excellent. A study by Bankrate found that Tennessee is the third best state for retirees thanks to the low cost of living and temperate weather. The state also boasts a thriving economy and natural beauty. On top of that, there's plenty of entertainment options to be found within the state. Number six, South Carolina. States in the southeastern part of the country tend to be cheap to live in compared to other regions, but some of them also have huge problems to overcome. South Carolina, though, seems to have the best of both worlds. It's still affordable, but it doesn't have those big issues that, say, Mississippi has. People have started to realize that with the affordability of the state, they can live a decent life there. Real estate costs are considerably lower than the national average. A list compiled by The Motley Fool had the average home price in South Carolina as $293,445 
whereas the national home price average, according to the Federal Reserve Bank of St. Louis, was $542,900. South Carolina also has the sixth lowest real estate tax at 0.57%, so if you're coming from a high-tax state, you can save quite a bit between the house purchase and the taxes. They also have one of the lowest gas taxes in the nation at 28 cents per gallon. This is part of why the Palmetto State gained 89,368 new residents last year, bringing the population up to 5,282,634 from 5,193,266. Number 5. Arizona Maybe it's because of my oh-so-very Celtic complexion, but I can't fathom the appeal of living in a desert. It seems like an inhospitable climate, but plenty of people disagree with me because Arizona gets a ton of new residents every year. Quite a few of them are coming from my home state of Illinois, partially to get away from winter weather, but more importantly, to pay lower taxes. According to Tax Foundation, in 2022, Arizona had the 15th lowest tax burden in the nation with an overall effective rate of 9.5%. This year, the tax burden will be even lower because Arizona is one of 10 states to lower their income tax rates. It's now between 2.55% and 2.98%. That's how Arizona was able to snag an additional 94,320 residents, with the population growing from 7,264,877 to 7,359,197. However, some of the newcomers might be regretting their decision because Arizona has been going through what some scientists have dubbed a mega drought, which has led to a water crisis for some communities. Number four, Georgia. Once upon a time, if you wanted to work in one of the entertainment industries, you would head to Los Angeles or New York or even Nashville if country music was your calling. But Atlanta, Georgia has become a hub for music, television, and movies. Many people are migrating there to follow their dreams, but it's not all wannabe rappers and starlets heading to the Peach State. Plenty of regular people are moving down there for warmer weather, cheaper housing, lower taxes, and closer proximity to the ocean. Georgia gained 124,847 new residents, jumping from 10,788,029 to 10,912,876 last year. According to World Population Review, Georgia has the fifth lowest cost of living. One thing that helps keep costs down for Georgians, at least those who drive, is that the state doesn't levy a gas tax like most other states. In addition, according to Bankrate, the average home price in Georgia is $323,935, which is more than $100,000 below the national average, and the overall tax burden is the eighth lowest in the country. Number three, North Carolina. If you have a family and you're looking for a state that has something for everyone within your household, it might just be North Carolina. For those who don't like cold weather, North Carolina rarely experiences snow. If you have teenagers who are thinking about their futures, North Carolina has some great colleges and universities, including Duke University and Wake Forest University, just to name two. They also have 11 HBCUs, so students wouldn't need to venture far from home to get an excellent education if they live in the Tar Heel State. For those in the workforce, there are several prominent industries to choose from, including finance, energy, biotechnology, aerospace, and believe it or not, furniture, with companies like Ashley Furniture, Ethan Allen, Century, and others headquartered there. These things all help to explain why the population increased by 133,088, going from 10,565,885 to 10,698,973. Number two, Florida. I've personally never quite understood the appeal of Florida, what with the hurricanes, Everglades, criminals on bath salts, and both alligators and crocodiles because one or the other just wouldn't do. But for some people, moving to Florida is the dream. Last year, those newcomers helped the population jump by 416,574, going from 21,828,069 to 22,244,823. The two most common reasons people cite for why they're moving to the Sunshine State are warmer weather and the lack of income taxes. The James Madison Institute said that the pandemic just accelerated that pattern because more people were allowed to work remotely and could therefore move rather than waiting until retirement, and also because the Sunshine State had an aversion to lockdowns, which appealed to some. At the high point of the pandemic, Florida was averaging 903 new residents every day. Number one, Texas. People are moving to Texas due to a variety of reasons. For one thing, the average cost of living is 8% lower than the national average. That includes housing with the median home price in June, 2022 at $385,800. There are also larger tracts of land available than what you'll find in some states. So for those wanting a large backyard, it could be a good fit. For those still in the workforce, the Lone Star State has job opportunities in the tech, oil, engineering, and aerospace industries, many of which are with Fortune 500 companies. 
Tesla, Dell, IBM, Toyota, and American Airlines are just a few of the companies you'll find in Texas. On top of that, there's no state income tax to pay. The state also boasts great schools with six colleges and universities ranked in the top 100 in the U.S., according to U.S. News & World Report. Another reason some people are drawn to Texas is the diversity. It is the second most diverse state in the nation. Did you know that there are 145 different languages spoken in Houston alone? If all of that isn't enough to entice a person, there's the weather. Depending on the city, you can expect to get anywhere from 200 to 293 sunny days each year in Texas. These are just some of the reasons why the population increased by 470,708, going from 29,558,864 to 30,029,572. I previously did a video on the 10 states that are losing population, which I'll link below, and what I can see from the states people are leaving and where they're going is that a lot of them are going from high tax states to those without an income tax. If you would move for that reason, let me know in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, hit the thumbs up and share it on social media and consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, I remain stuck in the current field.